Hi, meet Dave. He has a challenging job as he works as a network administrator at Voon Air Airlines, one of the largest airline companies in the world. They operate flights to all major tourist destinations and have a large IT environment to support their business. Voon Air Airlines uses CA Spectrum to monitor its networks and devices round the clock. Currently, Dave is using CA Spectrum 941 and has three Spectra servers to model all the devices in Voon Air's infrastructure. This is because previous versions of CA Spectrum had a 32-bit architecture. Hence, even if you hosted the Spectra server on a server with 32 gigabytes of RAM, it would not be able to utilize more than 4 gigabytes of the memory. This meant that for performance considerations, you had to create multiple Spectra servers that were hosted on separate physical and virtual hosts. Spectrum 10 will be able to leverage 64-bit address space. This allows the Spectra server to consume the relevant amount of RAM and hence improves performance. Now, Dave can model all the devices in the Voon Air infrastructure on a single Spectra server. The 64-bit architecture also ensures that discovery and modeling, locator searches, and IP services discovery features will work much faster when compared to previous versions of the product. Observe in the earlier version of CA Spectrum, the one-click console shows 8,000 devices spread across three Spectro servers. Let's now learn how Dave can export models from different Spectra servers that he currently has and import them into a single Spectra server in CA Spectrum 10. Note that Spectrum 10.0 allows you to model up to 1 million models on a single Spectra server. Dave can start by using the Modeling Gateway utility to export the models from the first Spectra server running CA Spectrum 941 into an XML file. The E in the command signifies the export function. The export process has started successfully. Likewise, he exports the models for the other two Spectra servers, one after another. A success message with the timestamp signifies that the export process has successfully concluded. Now it's time to import the models from the XML files to CA Spectrum 10. Dave can import all the XML files using these commands. This is a new feature added in CA Spectrum 10. Can you see the difference between the export and import command lines? Simple. It's the dash I in the import command line and the dash E in the export command line. The modeling gateway has imported all the files successfully into CA Spectrum 10. Dave logs into the CA Spectrum 10 one-click console. You can see that all the models from the multiple Spectra servers are now being managed by one Spectra server. This will definitely help reduce the time he spends on various administrative activities. Take a look at the topology view. Dave undocks for a bigger view. All the models are displayed here. Let's now see the performance of the 64-bit server by executing a search. He clicks the Locator tab. He observes the number of models this machine is managing and expands application models. He clicks all application models and clicks start search query. He clicks OK. In the results tab, all the models are displayed. To view the devices that this machine is managing, he expands devices and clicks all devices and then OK. In the results tab, all the devices are displayed. Did you notice how quickly the models and devices are displayed? So why not migrate to CA Spectrum 10 today and experience faster processing and performance scalability? To learn more, please visit the CA Education website.